Hey, hey guys, John here and welcome back. Welcome back into the Super Awesome Geek Show. We have a awesome pickup here from the Toy Man 84 on whatnot. The Toy Man is on whatnot. He's on Instagram. He's on Twitter. He's on Facebook. He's on everything. The, this guy is awesome. He is a trip. His sales on whatnot are really fun, and he just seems like a really cool, really awesome guy. Uh, maybe sometime we can get him on the show and have him say hello to everybody. Um, he he has some deals once in a while. I say watch his channel and and uh, hunt for those deals. This was one of the deals that I was able to grab from him. I got the Mobat Motorized Offensive Battle Tank, Battle Action Tank. From the year 2000, I think this is. I think this is the 2000 edition. And it includes Heavy Duty, but not the Thunderwing figure. I got Heavy Duty, but not Thunderwing. No, wait, or is it the other way around? No, I think I have Thunderwing, but not the new Heavy Duty. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Heavy Duty, I think, is this guy. And that's Thunderwing. So I think I have Thunderwing, not Heavy Duty. But we'll get it open and we'll take a look. Okay. No, no, I had it backwards. He's Thunderwing. It says it right there. Thunderwing is him. Heavy Duty is him. And I have a version of him. So this is just like the original Mobat tank, but it's camouflage color. And uh, it's 1998. 1998 Hasbro Kenner. Look at that. This is right after Hasbro bought Kenner. They, were moved, they moved their G.I. Joe line to be a Kenner product. That's interesting. Interesting. The GI Joe main battle tank can cross any terrain with its super climbing tread action to fight the evil forces of Cobra blending into the forest. This powerful armored vehicle pounds the enemy with its devastating turret cannon. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got this the same day that I got the Cobra Fang from him and, uh, was it six figures, six action figures, seven action figures? I think I got from them all at the same time. So that was a really good G.I. Joe day for me, getting all those figures, two vehicles. Yeah, really cool. All right, let's get this thing open. It, it is already opened, but um, you'll see it's, it's mint in the box, just like it came when it was originally. The only difference is the figure is uh, in a blister pack that he put together. So um, let's take a look. So this, this side is still taped shut with the original seller's tape. And then this one is the side that's open. And as you can see what I was talking about, it's like it's never been touched inside almost. Um, although I know it has been. And when you slide it out, it comes with the instructions and blueprints right on the front. Right on the top. The Mobat blueprints. Yeah, it says Kenner 1998 there. Really cool. And then on the other side is how to put the machine gun tip on, how to open the battery case, how to drive the vehicle. It goes forward, backwards, left and right, depending on how you shift the thing. They're putting a Cobra figure in it. Look at that. And then sticker placement. Talks about caution for overpowering the engine, things like that, the motor. You don't want to ruin it. And then, yeah, like I said, he put the figure in one of these. But my figure has a brown vest on instead of the white vest. Same vest with the grenades in the strap. And he's got a green hat and green camo pants where this one is so I wonder if there's two versions of this figure let me get him out of here great figure this one is really nice looking he's in really good shape but yeah there must have been two different versions there's probably a carded version which is what's here in my hand and then a version that came with this vehicle which has the white and green the white shirt with the green camel pants and the green hat but otherwise they are the exact same mold and body and legs and everything. So still cool to have this figure with the vehicle. We'll put them in the vehicle for now when we put it on display. 
until we get the correct figures. But this was such a good deal that it, it doesn't matter if we got some of the wrong figures. So let's pull the tank out of here. It still has its battery cover. The treads and everything look beautiful. This is, this is, I mean, it's really brand new. Look, the, the thing is still in the plastic that goes on there. This essentially just hasn't been touched. Um, really, really nice. All right, let's set this up. Oh, this is great. This is a cool version of the Mobat tank. Very, very happy with this. Real happy with the new turntable too. I mean, just look how this thing is working with such a heavy vehicle. It's smoothly running that tank around with such a heavy vehicle. And the light underneath it actually helps in this instance because you can sort of see the, the light emanating through the treads here when it comes around. See that? Ooh, neat. <laughs> and he looks good sitting in it. Very happy with him sitting in there. We got the gun, the little gun on there. The big gun is extended. The camouflage looks really cool. I'm happy with this tank. I really like it. Great looking vehicle. Nice addition to the G.I. Joe squad. Really cool. Let's look at it compared to the original. Now here we go, my Mobat tank army. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I've got a bit of a weird thing going on here. I've got the Mobat that I had since I was a kid, and it has all its wheels missing the little gun thing. The stickers are all on it, but and the battery case is there, but it's corroded all to hell. This thing does not work. The batteries won't work in it. It is rusted and corroded beyond belief in there. I mean, it is... It is absolutely terrible inside this thing. So bad that it's, I mean, ugh. it is just gross beyond gross. I don't think this is going to ever work again. Um, but the conundrum is the other one. With, with Hawk in it. Here's a version of Hawk. Has the little peg thing, but no stickers. It works fine when you put the um, battery cover on it. I got it for, look at this. I got it for $2.99 at Value Village. <laughs> it's still on there but it's also missing a wheel see that there's a wheel missing right here so the whole time I've had it I've sort of left it alone but I've always thought should I take a wheel off of this and put it on there and fix the battery cover and then get a sticker sheet for it or should I just find another wheel you know it's like I don't want to mess with the one I had since I was a kid either, you know? I like that it's still here and still exists. So it's kind of like, I don't know. But um, I did have this one working somehow. I remember getting it working. I think I might have the battery uh, case lid somewhere. In fact, it could have just fallen off and it's in the other room. But anyways, and then the new one, I mean, there it is. It looks great, right? really cool i mean it's essentially the same thing but i had did notice there's pegs to hold on with the hands on these on the old one and the new one doesn't have those pegs to hold on to. he just he literally just stands in there instead of having something to put his hands on like these guys do 
So that's an interesting difference. Otherwise, I don't really see any difference. I mean, the mold is exactly the same, as far as I can tell. Just needs some stickers. So yeah, that weren't in the that were not in the box. That's interesting. So there's no stickers, no figures, and no uh, file cards for the figures either in the box. So, eh, whatever. I can track that stuff down. All right, guys, I think that's about it, right? I mean, I don't have any D batteries. If I had D batteries, I could actually run these things for you and show them moving. But right now, I don't have any D batteries. I need Vern's at, at Oker Studios. I need Vern's battery suitcase and uh, get, get batteries of all kinds and have them in that suitcase for stuff just like this so we can see it move. But you would you would click you click this forward to move forward. Click this back. See how it clicks? Click this back for it to do that. You would turn it. It would go turn that way and turn it and it would go that way. So um and I think there's a middle spot for off. Yeah. So um that's how you operated it by just moving this thing around. and right yeah pretty cool all right guys stay awesome out there thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate it and hope you guys uh enjoyed taking a look at the mobat uh motorized defensive battle attack tank from gi joe the new one from 1998 is the one i got recently and um the originals that i've had since i was a kid and one that i found in seattle when i lived there at Value Village for just $2.99. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you later, all right? All right, stay awesome out there. Bye-bye. Yo, Joe!